Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones. Alright, time to call for the small council, I guess. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared no. to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. What? You can hardly put a price on your own life. Ransom or a robbery? We well, may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Well, now I definitely won't pick you. God damn it! Who should I pick? The warrior seems a, guy, a nice guy, but uh, he's just too hot-headed, I think. So I guess that's only uh, that only leaves um, Duncan. Go one, thank you. Uh, legendary temper, yeah, a bad thing to have when you send the needle. And this guy, I don't know why, he rubs me wrong. So I guess I'll pick Duncan. Swords up! Oh. You can lift them, mm. yeah? Although he may be, you know, a traitor as well. Who the fuck knows? Let's do this. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Uh, not yet, actually. No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me I know when you are, my lord. Yeah, is there a way to talk to the mother? Because that guy said, there you go are talk you to your mother, a but sword or a turkey leg? I don't see any possible exit. As it doesn't be, seems to be a, are he, out here. Hmm. Uh, please, seems rather small. Limitations of the engine, I guess. Because that's the crappiest castle ever. It's like. Uh, what? 50 meters for the whole yard, I'm not sure. Do it like you mean it! Yeah, I don't see them. Uh, maybe that way. But I don't think I can go that way. Yeah, nope. Alright. I guess we'll choose a sentinel then. Maybe we'll speak to here afterwards. What's My this? lord, are you now okay. ready to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I'm gonna pick my sister or something. Or uh, were the women allowed? Who the fuck knows? You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Hmm. Give Bracer to Duncan, give Bracer to Duncan. Can I give it to my mother? Nope. I guess I can probably give it to him. No, I can't. Alright, Duncan it is then. Duncan Tuttle, 
You will be my sentinel. Todd! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody what suicide. Do? You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. <laughs> Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we yeah. must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Crap. My new sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make Oy. him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many Here years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told idea. me, you want to bring him back. Yeah. He's a skilled fighter. 
But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher mm. needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. Stop manipulating you have many game. fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. Yeah, damn it. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, Without asking him. let me send Malcolm to Essos. Mm, crap. I know I'm gonna regret if I send him away. Uh, but the brother was exiled for what? Mm, for having that guy's daughter, I guess. Fine. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I'm not sure that was a good choice. Strinsky. You can't forge the letter, I guess. <laughs> no. We won't be doing that. I'm not stealing seat. What the fuck is wrong with you? Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Thank you. Yes, she's pissed. But we asked her to leave. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years. We are friends, Sarah. Truly. Friends trust one another. They don't hold secrets. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... Yeah, that didn't go well. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. You are in King's Landing, by the way. Trust no one. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. What a surprise. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. Stop saying I that. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. It's bullshit.
This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Crap. Milady. That's a guy again. Begging your pardon, milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, milady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family. If you're willing to trust me, I hear oh. all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Yeah. Nope. That guy doesn't seem trustworthy at all. Crap. Bad choices everywhere. All right. Will Sir Roiland. He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men yeah, stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Yeah, good luck planning with uh, that crazy guy. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. <laughs> she has a point. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the... Thank you. <laughs> That's enough. What is a bastard? Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. Do it. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah. Worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Sir. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? 
Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It yes, was a good. forest squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. <sighs> then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this yeah. day forward. No. What? what? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The Whitehills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison no, of Jesus. twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forest. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Hmm. Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Funny. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. I said leave them be! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Yeah, this will be Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! What have you done? But no! I don't want a bowl. That was unexpected. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Not Ethan! I certainly feel Ethan! better about all this. He's what have you done? However, Come on. the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Please, Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill wow. him if they give you any trouble. Brian. Lovely meeting all of you. 
We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Catch the maester quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mana! Stop! Don't let him take me! Let him go! Stop that! Don't please! Stop it! Let me go! Let him die! Do something! Ethan? My son. Well, crap. <laughs> crap. Crap. Hmm. Right. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Alright. Okay. That was definitely unexpected. <laughs> Uh, really? Only 24%? Shit. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I'll see you when the next episode releases.